And our team coverage continues now this morning with 17's Karen Waugh. She's been with firefighters throughout the week as they battle this grueling fire. But she joins us now with a story that sparks hope. Over the past week, the stagecoach fire has exploded in size, moving from one side of the mountains to the other. I've been all over the world in the military and a lot of the states, and I'm um, 55, and this is my favorite place that I've been. I like the community. Ron Lefevre and his family moved to Walker Basin 17 years ago. They built everything from the ground up. The house, deck, pool, suspension bridge, barn. Down there in the barn, we have two alpacas, uh, Dwayne the Rock Johnson and Lady Gaga. His family, consisting of two alpacas, two chickens, two dogs, and two cats. Each year, he's used to wildfire threats. But he soon saw the stagecoach fire creeping too close for comfort. We haven't had anything this close, for sure. And then firefighters showed up, recommending he evacuate. I, I, I just hoped. <laughs> so he fled, forced to even leave behind most of his animals, not knowing if he'd see any of this ever again. It really didn't get emotional until I got to... Uh, downtown until I got to the hotel. But then a spark of hope. Kern County firefighters personally called him, telling him his home was safe. The three firefighters that, that defended my house were professional, calm, which calmed me. As for his neighbors, homeowners who weren't as fortunate. We're going to take care of them. That's what we do up here. Food, we'll get them some food. We'll get them as much money as we can possibly all spare and uh, clothes then they'll rebuild. We'll be all right. From the ashes, they'll rise again. The community, the name my neighbors, the peace, quiet. In Walker Basin. The Saturday barbecue. Karen Wall, <laughs> 17 News. And we continue to work and bring you the latest information on the Stagecoach Fire. You can head to our website, kget.com, for the latest on this blaze. And we also have the resources that we've been talking about this morning for people who are affected by this fire. You can find all of that on our website, kget.com.